but this is being curved up. So it's like this. And you have to rotate that. You actually have to talk about the lateral area of a cone. Well, just part of it. Alright, in this video, we can finally talk about the surface area. <laughs> well, we are going to start with the following. I just want to consider this portion of the curve, and I will take that and rotate about the x-axis. So we go this way, and we can do what we did in the following video. I can first draw a mirror image like this. And then at the end, we can just put down this to make it three-dimensional looking. However though, unlike the volume video, I am not going to draw a perfect disk. I'm not going to draw a small horizontal line and then rotate. That's not enough. Because we actually don't have that situation. Just take a look of the roll of the toilet paper. If you draw a little horizontal line, then you're talking about roll of toilet paper. You rotate that, then you're talking about this lateral area. The lateral area of, the, of this um, cylinder, right? However, you can see that this is being curved up. So it's like this. And you have to rotate that. You actually have to talk about the lateral area of a cone. Well, just part of it. And to make this super clear, let's just consider the following. Now, what kind of picture do you see? It's pretty much a part of the cone, right? So that's what I meant earlier. So right here, what you have to do is, because it's a cone, you can just take a small portion, like stand right here, and rotate like this. And now, here's a label, and I'm going to do that later on with this real quick. But let's focus on this. This right here is just a small change in the arc length, technically, even though this is a straight line, but I will still call this to be DL. And you need to know this right here, and also you need to know the radius of the middle right here, right? the middle portion. I will just put this down from here to here. And of course, this is just the vertical distance, so we'll call that to be y. If you have this band, you know, just cut it from the cone and then open it, you are going to end up with the picture looks like this. And the area of this band is the following. The area of the band, once again, refer back to my previous video. You need to know this, which is y, and what you do is, 2 pi times the radius y, and this is the middle radius, okay? 2 pi times y, and then times this length, which based on our labeling is dl, like that. Well, yes, notice that we do have the 2 pi y, and that is the circumference if you go from this as your radius around it. Meaning, if you just look at that, you open it, it's just like this. The middle radius is r, I mean, it's y. <laughs> and then go around it one time, you have the 2 pi y. So that's how you can remember it. It's pretty much a circumference based on this circle, and then you multiply by the length of the side, which is the dl. That's pretty much all. Well, for the curve situation, same thing. And you need the middle, which is y. You need that, which is dl, which is, once again, you need the area of the band as usual. You need to find this area of the band and then you add them up. That's all. So here we go. Let's do the surface area now. Well, this is the area of the band, which is that. You need to put that down, which is 2 pi y times dl. And as always, we have to integrate. But here's the trouble. We are in the L world. And this is like the art length video. Focus on the DL, we have two situations because this curve right here could be described as y as a function of x. Remember, for the DL part, we are going to just open the square root and then we put down 1 plus dy dx. And then you square that and then you have the dx right here. And this will be for the DL when you have this situation. And then the rest pretty much stays the same. We have 2 pi y. And then, of course, we have the integral. And the usual notation for surface area is capital S. That's my S. This is my integral. <laughs> anyway, look at, we are in the x world. So I will have to come here and look for the x value. Let's say we start at a and end at b. So x goes from a 
to be, we can put down x1, x2. However, we are not done yet because why? It's not inviting in the x world, but it's okay because you can just replace this with that. So I will write it down real quick. This is the first version. Okay? Now, suppose you have another situation. Maybe this curve was defined as x being a function of y. In that case, for the DL, you do the other version, right? So what you do is you open a square root, and then you have 1 plus dx dy. And then you square that, and then you have the dy right here. And then you still put down the 2 pi y. This doesn't change. And once again, this is a y, because you are talking about this as your radius, the vertical distance, and you take that, rotate. Okay, so this right here stays the same. You just look at the DL, it depends on the situation, you plug in different things. Alright, you still have the integral, and in this case, you are in the Y world. So, look back to the picture. Okay, this maybe is my starting Y value, C, and then this is my ending Y value, D, and just label that. Y is going from C to D, and I will label this as S. Hmm, in this case, check this out. Y is invited in the Y world, so we are done. You don't have to plug in anything. This is it, right? So, this is about the rotation about the x-axis. What if we take this piece and rotate about the y-axis? In that case, what formulas are we going to get?